What even is the perfect OLED monitor and when will you finally get it? Well, folks, CES is fast approaching again and there's gonna be a whole lot of exciting new monitor tech on the way. The kind that'll have you screaming, crying, and maybe even tossing ropes. In fact, I'm hoping for some pretty big advancements. And look, we already know that LG will be working on brighter four-layer WOLED monitors which should also perform much better in bright rooms thanks to the improved glossy coatings and reduced visual grain from the panel itself, making for a pretty big leap forward right there. I've also mentioned before that I expect QD OLED monitors to get much brighter, hit higher resolutions, and hopefully fix that horrendous magenta tint that makes them a poor choice for bright rooms, but which of these gargantuan improvements do I actually expect to see next year? And will they really make the perfect monitor? More importantly, will buying one save your marriage? Well, all that and more we're about to go over. So you better lock in and glue those eyes to your screen. Let's start with the resolution. Yes, I am expecting to see, as has been demoed many times at this point, a 5K resolution OLED monitor at the 27 inch size, specifically QD OLED. Last I heard, this would be 120 hertz, but that's not to say there won't be a 240 hertz gaming option. There very well could be, and maybe even options at 32 inches. We'll find out when CES rears its ugly head. Now, for most people, you're probably very happy with a 4K monitor, and hey, there's nothing wrong with that. 4K is a very good resolution, but 5K is probably where it starts to become what Apple would maybe call something like retina, or at least I would call it that. At a reasonable viewing distance, 5K pretty much eliminates aliasing, and if that excites you, it might be time to start bussing one out because I do think we will be seeing 5K OLEDs in 2026, but that's just one piece of the puzzle. More importantly, in fact, most importantly, let's talk about brightness. OLED monitors are awesome, but brightness, not so great. We really need to get a monitor that can reasonably show 1000 nit graded content. That's the standard for pretty much everything, and we're not quite there yet. If we can get there, you'll see massively more impactful HDR capabilities, as well as much less dimming, making them far better HDR displays overall. And at that point, well, let's just say, I think we'll be taking mini LED monitors out back behind the shed. I'm expecting sometime between 2026 and 2028 to see very significant improvements in brightness. Next year, I think you'll continue to see brighter OLEDs, both from Samsung and LG, Look, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm expecting. LG is likely to see the largest improvements as their four layer tech is supposed to be a big deal. And, and look, I do expect to see that, but don't expect it to blow you away just yet. And I'm still on the fence as to whether we'll even see a four layer W OLED that can properly display a thousand nit HDR content. We'll have to see what exact models pop up during CES 2025. Cause I'll tell you this much, they could certainly do it. it. Just depends on if they'll actually choose to go that route. But that's the second big thing that needs to be solved to create the so-called perfect monitor. But look here and listen up because I also expect Samsung will soon start fixing the magenta tint on their monitors. Will they fully fix it? Who knows? But at this point, They've gotten plenty of feedback about it, so I think we can safely say they are well aware. I don't know for sure if 2026 will be the year, but I suspect you won't have to wait too long. Honestly, this might be easier for them to solve than massively improving brightness, though I could be wrong. Either way, this is the third major thing that needs to be resolved. Thankfully, LG has already caved and started offering glossy coatings, which was their issue since they didn't have them before and were just giving us matte slop. Now Samsung just needs to fix their largest issue, the magenta tint. And the final thing I suspect we'll see is more and more high refresh rate OLED panels. What's your idea of a perfect refresh rate? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I'd say 500 hertz or higher. Perfect is a strong word, yes. But I'll tell you this much, 240 hertz, while very, very close and perfect for a lot of people is still not quite there for me. At 500 hertz, it really starts to become 
almost indistinguishable from still images. But enough already. I know what you're asking. Will I be maxing out all my credit cards on OLEDs in the near future, yes or yes? Of course, my answer is yes. Please don't do that actually. What I'm trying to say is the perfect OLED monitor for me would probably be a 5K. Actually, no, What? why are we even settling? Let's be honest. This is a no shame zone. Let's just spill it all out. Here's what a truly perfect display would look like for me. And you let me know what it looked like for you again in the comments, but for me, it would be a 55 inch 8K 1000 Hertz HDR QD OLED display with no magenta tint capable of reaching up to 10,000 nits of brightness. But look, I am nothing if not humble and generous. So I will settle, yes settle for a 5K, God, I'm already tearing up. I can't believe I'm settling for this, but 5K 500 Hertz 32 inch glossy QD OLED again with no magenta tint capable of hitting 1000 nits in a 10% window. Will we see this in 2026? Of course not, but we might see something close. And that's what life's about fellas. Really at the end of the day, and this is coming from someone who loves America more than you could even imagine. This is what America is about. Putting your dreams on credit, almost getting there, maybe failing, and grasping at what you can't quite have, but you're gonna pretend to do it anyway to make others feel bad. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So join me on a journey in pursuit of the ultimate OLED monitor and get subscribed for everything else display related here on the display guy. Oh, and in case you thought I forgot it, uh, no, buying one of these is not gonna save your marriage. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro's offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible housing, making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.